to no one, and I mean no one, expected Yuki Kawauchi to win the men's marathon this year. He's crediting his dark horse victory today to running the Marshfield Marathon this January, saying that prepared him for these conditions. Here's WBZ's Jim Smith. Yuki Kawauchi's marathon victory is no doubt making big news in Japan, but it's also bringing smiles right here in Marshfield, scene of one of his earlier triumphs. When Yuki Kawauchi broke the tape on Boylston Street, it was not his first Massachusetts Marathon victory of 2018. This was the scene in January, Yuki winning the Marshfield Marathon. That day, he had weather challenges of his own, single-digit temperatures. So he came here, and of course, that was the coldest stretch that we've ever had in about 20 years. And that's just incredible. What an effort he did. Two hours, 18 minutes, and 59 seconds. Gene Spriggs of the Marshfield Roadrunners presented Yuki with the winner's trophy that day. That's why his Boston win is extra sweet for this group. I probably got uh, overcharged on all my emails, all my telephone calls. We were going back and forth. All of us were saying, you got to turn this on because it's just incredible. Kawauchi even took time to give a shout-out to the Marshfield Marathon today, saying the frigid conditions helped to toughen him for Boston. On January 1st this year, um, when I ran the Marshfield New Year's Day Marathon um, here in Massachusetts, uh, that was a little bit too cold. I think it was minus 17 degrees Celsius, but uh, that gave me a little bit more experience to be ready for this. As for Marshfield, Yuki is invited back anytime he wants. He'll have more than a standing invitation. By the way, the Marshfield Marathon just recently got officially certified. They've been running this race since 1981. In Marshfield, Jim Smith, WBZ News.